Welcome back. This week's guest is Robert Close, also a professor at the University of Maine. Thank you so much for coming in. Talk Pleasure. to us a little bit about uh, trigger warning. Yeah, you know, trigger warning kind of reflects, uh, I guess when you might say, the theme du jour in higher education. It's the idea that some students feel they need to be forewarned if material in a course is problematic or disturbing, potentially disturbing in some way, or potentially challenging towards them. And basically, the trigger warning is advance notice that the professor is going to address the topic. Um, what's interesting is that some schools have pushed back against this, like the University of Chicago refuses to give trigger warnings, acknowledging that these students are adults mm -hmm. and they should be able to deal with challenging material. But the premise of the book is different. It asks a question, and this is a work of fiction, mm -hmm. this is not a memoir, what if it's not the student but the professor who needs the trigger warning because there's a student who's problematic or challenging or, in this case, dangerous? What was it that spurred you on that made you want to write this book? Um, I actually had an incident in a class. Um, I teach at the University of Maine in the Honors College. And a stu we were doing the New Testament as one of our texts, and a student was very disturbed by the New Testament, which took me by surprise. Uh, I mean, it's the word of God, right? <laughs> and so I got to thinking about this. I said, just in it's an interesting premise. What if it was the professor who needed the trigger warning instead? And so that was the incentive to write this book. Yeah. Now, what do you hope people take away from it, reading it? Well, I hope they become familiar with what a trigger warning is uh, and why it is considered controversial. I wrote the book in such a way that it would be of interest not only to people in academia, but just anyone who has an interest in a good story, or maybe who even just wonders, what goes on at the university anyway? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what comes next? Do I do this, uh, you know, is this the, the first in a series, or do you have another one that you're thinking about writing? I'm always thinking of the next book. Uh, it's funny you should say that, though, because I just got a piece of fan mail from someone who read it, and she liked it. And she says, you must write the sequel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know if this suggests the sequel tell you the truth. I have other ideas in mind. But it's nice that people are invested enough in the book that they wanted this, the story to continue in some way. Yeah, lovely. So. If people uh, wanted to uh, learn more about you or a trigger warning or get a copy, where would they go? What should they do? Thank you for asking. Always support your small locally owned independent bookstore. Um, Briar Patch in Bangor, if you're in the Bangor area. Great. Great bookstore. Uh, you know, uh, Orono Public Library mm -hmm. has books which are being sold for the benefit of the library right now because I'll be speaking there uh, in November. And so those are two good suggestions for sources. Also, okay. robertclose.com uh, could be a place where they could learn more about you, they too, right? They could learn more about it at robertclose.com, for sure. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure. A trigger warning, or trigger warning, a novel. Thank you so much uh, for your time.